Can I help you? Yes, I can. Stay tuned for a library lesson. Hi, students. I'm in an actual kid's bedroom to demonstrate something to you. No matter how messy your bedroom is, one place that is almost always organized is your clothing. You might organize them in a chest of drawers like this. That's because each drawer has a different kind of clothing in it. You might have socks here, t-shirts here, shorts and pants down here. Sorting your clothes into different drawers is the way that you make sense of all of your clothing. Same thing is true for our catalog and Sora. When you do a search in the catalog or Sora, you should sort through the results just like we sort your clothes so that you can make sense of all the search results. So that is how a chest of drawers is a lot like sorting your results. Dad, can you get out of my bedroom, please? Okay. <laughs> all right, so I just got sassed by my seventh grade daughter, but that's okay. She's actually a pretty good sport. So, why do we sort? Well, we sort to make sense of our results. Think about it. Sora and the catalog are looking through hundreds of thousands of books based on your search term. It's giving you thousands of results. You need to make sense of all of those results coming in. For example, you can sort by age level, right? You might want a book that is just at your level. You want to sort out all of the books that are for older people or younger people. You can sort by the type of book. The two biggest divisions in any library is whether a book is fiction or nonfiction. That's why we stress that so much. A book falls into one of those two categories. Sorting by that type is important. You can also sort by the kind of book. For example, graphic novel versus a regular book. Let's look at a couple examples. Okay, for example, the search term survival. Think of the different kinds of results you'll get for fiction versus nonfiction. There are books where the story is made up in the mind of the author of a person in a really difficult situation trying to survive. Like I'm thinking of Gary Paulson's Hatchet. It's a made up story. It's fiction. But then you can also have nonfiction survival stories too, where something actually happened, a tragedy actually happened where somebody was stranded and needed to survive. Those are very big differences in types of books fiction versus nonfiction. Think also about knights, right? Knights really did exist, but they wind up in a lot of fiction stories too. A lot of historical fiction, a lot of fantasy involves knights, but some people like to read about real knights, real events that happen from the real historical record. Those are nonfiction books. All right, so let's demonstrate. We're going to take a look at Sora, and we're also going to look at iSearch or the catalog. First up is Sora. All right, you can see that I have a book out right now called Spare Parts that I am reading. If I wanted to search, though, I go down to the Explore button here on the bottom. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to search for Knights, and we can talk about different ways that you can sort these results. All right. They put the sorting up at the very top for a good reason. It's that important, okay? You shouldn't necessarily start to look through the collections just yet until you have sorted. You always can, but the reason that sorting is up top is because that's very important, okay? So let's look at these results. They found 1,793 ebooks with knights as the subject. 344 are audiobooks. So if I only wanted an audiobook, guess what? Click that button. There are 1,548 fiction books. So if I only wanted to see the fiction books, I would click on this button here. Maybe I like romance. There are 932 books with knights in them. Fantasy, 557. Now this is really important, all right? There's so many more divisions that they just buried it in the word more. That's fine. 
I'm going to click on more and check this out. You can scroll through all of these different ways to sort. I mean, and check this out. You can scroll through all of these different types of books, romance, fantasy, historical fiction, literature, science fiction, juvenile fiction, young adult fiction, nonfiction, suspense, thriller, mystery. Okay, and the list goes on. But all of these have knights in them. That's the important thing. Another great thing that this list does is that it allows you to sort by age. Okay, juvenile is considered younger than young adult. So juvenile would be for the elementary buildings. Young adult fiction would be for the middle school. All right, so that is a good way to sort through age groups. Okay, so this is the way that you can sort through the results here at the top. When you use Sora, after you search, the very first thing that you should do is think, how do I want to sort these results? What do I want to look at specifically? Okay, next up is the catalog. I'm using the Hayes Elementary catalog. It doesn't matter which school you use because you can search your school and find books in all of our libraries. This is just to show you how to sort your results. So in iSearch, if I type in Knights, just like I did in Sora, and search for Knights, we're going to talk about how to sort our results. Okay, and I can take a look at the results here in the center. These are all books owned by Lakewood City Schools. But over here on the left-hand side is how you can sort your results. So I'm going to click on View All so that you can see all of the different topics and subjects that you can sort by. So again, this is just a search on Knights. And if one of these sounded interesting, like graphic novels, for example, I could click on graphic novels and click Include. Now, the only results that are here are graphic novels. So that, again, that might be important to a library user who is just looking for a graphic novel on Knights.